Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get unit direction vector? So let's take a look at the node itself. It's right here, and it's very simple. This node is going to find the unit direction vector from one position to another. Okay, not very helpful because that just tells you the name of it. It basically gives you the vector or the direction from one location to another. That's the easiest way of thinking about it. Here's the node itself. We have an input and an output. Sorry, we have an input from, an input to, and then the output, which returns our vector. In terms of actual use, let's go ahead and look at it right here. We're grabbing our player character, grabbing the player's location, and putting that in the from. We're grabbing the box that's in my scene, grabbing its location, and putting that as the to. So this is going to give me the direction from the player to the box. So if we go ahead and hit run, and we look at the top, you'll see some values. As we get closer to the box on the x and the y, the values are going to change. You'll also see a result when I hit the box. If we go to the box itself and we look at this, we have, when I hit it, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of launching. I'm going to throw my character away. Now, we could do something really simple. We could grab the normal from the hit, reverse it by multiplying it by negative 1, giving it a little bit of a bump, and then using that as my launch velocity. And that'll work. So you'll see here, we could hit, for example, this edge right here, and we'll go back. But you notice... No matter where I really hit it, at the angle I hit it at, it's still going to launch me in that away from facing direction. The normal, again, is the outward facing direction. So when I hit this cube, no matter which angle I hit the cube at, we're still going to get pushed backwards facing this direction. Now if we do the unit direction instead, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the unit direction, and we're going to go ahead and plug this in instead of our facing normal. We're going to go the actor's location, so this is my box itself, and then the player that's colliding with the box, and we'll run into it and we'll see what happens. And you'll see it's pushing me back, but you'll notice it's also pushing me back at the angle that I'm hitting it at. Rather than just pushing straight out of the box, I'm getting a result based on my values. So my player comes in, it hits it at a certain angle, it figures out the direction from the box to my player and gives me back the return angle, and then I apply force in that direction. So that's what the get unit direction vector node is useful for. It takes two vectors, you can think of that as two locations, and then give you back the direction from one location to the other. So again, it's useful if you want to figure out the opposite direction of where you hit something at. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our get unit direction vector node.